morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to season one, episode three of Candlepin Skins from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. I'm Jordan Britton, alongside Corey Lisi for Candlepin Corners coverage of Candlepin Skins. Uh, first, we're going to introduce you to our bowlers. Coming over from last episode, we have John Winchell and Josh Daly, who are going to return this episode. And then joining them are going to be Sean Baker and Steve Kelly, who rolled off just a few weeks ago. Uh, John had a 658, and Steve came in second with a 638. I'm going to bring in Corey now to show you the rules of skins. Yeah, the rules of skins are simple. So you're going to bowl one box at a time. The highest box carries the skin. Skins will go up in increments from $25 for the first three boxes, $30 for the subsequent three boxes, $35 for the box 7, 8, and 9, and then box 10 worth $100. Uh, the fills do not count on these boxes. It is simply going to be strike takes it, unless somebody else throws a strike, then it will carry over for all bowlers. The only time it's only the tying bowlers is in the final box of the episode. So the 20th box of the episode will be a tie roll-off between just those who uh, tie there. The highest scratch totals are what carry on to episode four. Um, as John Winchell is now on his third episode, Josh Daly on his second. So we look forward to some fast paced action today. Ready to go. Ready to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for episode three. Um, we got the highest qual the highest qualifiers, Sean Baker and Steve Kelly up there first, 658 and 638 respectively. Baker with a monster 175 last game to, to secure that top spot. Yeah, that'll, Steve, that'll do, huh? Uh, that'll play every time. Steve gets us going. Get on that head pin. What a pitch. He's going to get them all. Oh, what a way to start. What a ball. Broke up that triangle. Nice. Nine and a plank. Baker's a bit off. Going to leave the four horsemen left plus the ten. Piece of wood coming to play. Steve looking to cash in. Get a mark right off the rip. All over it. There's one. Spare for Steve Kelly in the first. Baker giving it a bit himself. Oh. Wow, what a, what a bid. What a ride. Sent that piece of wood off the wall, but just in front of the 10 pin there. He's going to look to grab 10. You yeah, can't win the skin, but going to look to pin as our top two total pinfall bowlers are going to move on to the next episode. So even if you don't win money, you're still fighting to uh, get into the next episode. So every box is going to count regardless. Josh Daly, John Winchell are going to step up. And they led the way in episode two. And they are back. John had a 280 last episode. Two game total, won by 27 pins. Absolute he was a, dominance. He was a monster. Off to the left, it gets a, gets a home, home cooking. Why well, hit the head pin there? Daly's on it, and as we saw. We want to get the uh, pin checked. Yeah. We got a guy for that. Somebody who works here. Shout out Charlie Collins. Shout out. Does he want? He wants it to be good though. I think doesn't he? I, I mean, I think you're fine either way. The way that uh, right side's flattened against it, and you see you have that second pin behind it. It should be over. Yeah. Oh wow! wow I was. You had to get the magnifying glass almost. out for that. Shout out Matt Susie. Uh. Yeah, you see he has that angled piece behind the flat piece of wood, so you just kind of want to get that get that front piece moving. And he should sweep over. He's trying to be heartbreak kid again. Josh going to need to make a monster shot, or Steve Kelly's getting his first skin. Josh make the eagle. Just gets by. So Steve Kelly, one box, $30. $25. Sorry, I'm doing and as as the the resident newcomer oh. to the wow, what an out, what an out by Josh. Maybe should have gone that way. Resident newcomer here, Steve. I mean, one box, one skin. bowling against these names from bowling. That's that's what you want to do early on. Get your first skin, break Absolutely. the ice, break the nerves. Let's see how uh, he can follow up. Let's see what Baker can do. Come back here and hit the head pin on his second box. Right on the, on the pipe, on the head pin. Great ball, leaves a six pin in a plank. In a plank. That's the classic Baker ball there. Steve loading up here. Another one on the head pin leaves Matt Susie special, five, seven, ten. Piece of wood coming back. Might have to get that cleared. Get Baker's Matt Susie's cardio today. Baker's going to shoot his spare anyway. All, All over. And fall into the channel. There we go. Fall into the channel. 
tough five, seven, ten here. Let's see what Steve can do with it. See if he gets it moving left or right. Do it. Why not? Oh. Way, Way to bury to that. Gonna look to check one. Great ten bucks. Or for nine bucks, excuse me. Seventeen after one. It's great takes, pinning. Takes a ten pin for a nine. Just a reminder of how important pinning is because the pinfall leaders after two games stay on to face our incoming challengers, which will be Tim Douglas and Ryan Southall. They were a, uh, a machine in roll-offs. They rolled off next to us in the, uh, the last, yeah. last roll-off of the, the round. Ryan couldn't miss, just consistently on Unreal. all all day. And then Timmy with a big 150. I want to say 152 was his final There were so many big games. Between the two of them, they had some monster, monster games. Even with the uh, little hiccup in the middle, we had the lane breakdown, and we got to sit for like and didn't matter. 30 minutes, and then still came right out. Josh first ball here. On the pin again. I was going to break it up. He's looking at a tough lead here. Just now has the 10. A couple pieces of wood here. I don't know if I love the angle on that. Winchell doesn't get a strike. Yeah, we're going to, both bowlers looking to force a carryover. So we do have a spare on the board, so one of these guys got to make their shot to force a carryover. If not, Sean Baker's going to secure his first skin of the day. Josh drives it back. He's all over it, so we are carrying over. Next box is going to be worth $50. And why not? His as well. Winchell grabs his too. So coming back on, Sean Baker and Steve Kelly. Steve Kelly, newer to the game, not new. He's a young, young kid here. Uh, 115 league average, high single 165, high triple 414, and a high five of 638, which was his roll-off score. Man, no, no better time to have your high five than when you're rolling off for a TV time to show. show up, huh? No kidding. Yeah, I mean, I think it kind of goes without saying he's probably the underdog on here. But I mean, as we we saw in the roll-off in this house, obviously he can put up some big numbers. So and underdog comes in, gets the first skin. Right, love that. Head pin off to the right, but a nice little mix. At least the one-two. First miss on the head pin for Steve. Sean looking for a big fill here. Trying to load up, he's on the head pin, and wow. Five, welcome five welcome to Lita. We've seen the 5-7 and the 5 seven, ten in two and a half, two and a half frames. Steve is all over it, Cash is in on a break. Spare in the third, 36 and a ball. Baker looking to make a beautiful one. Can he send, oh wow. What, what a, a bid. bid by wow, Baker just there. Just behind it. And if you haven't heard of Steve Kelly before today, you're gonna know. Oh, you're gonna know. If you don't know, now you know. 10. So Sean sits at 38 through 3. Steve Kelly 36 and a ball. We have John and Josh both coming up 20 plus 1 through 2. John Winchell is the stats you've heard before. He's hit 193 times for his high single. 467 triple, 744 high five. Can't believe he doesn't have a 200. Highest league average has been 127. Oh, oh what a oh, ball. Good night. So Josh has to match it. Pressure ball here for Daly. Throws a hammer. We carry over. Anything else, John is going to take $50. I thought we have heard that before. But Josh knew it as soon as he threw the ball that was going right. So, great grab there for John Winchell. John, 40 plus 2 through 3. $50 in his bank account thus far. Josh overcorrects there on the 2 pin. Leaves the 1, the 8, and the 10. And But we saw this from Josh last episode. He started slow. And then he just came alive. Yeah, he, it's, that's a, he, I think he had a, a real rough first four and then just popped off. We, we know from watching Josh plenty of times this kid can go on crazy runs. I'm just going to go down to now Baker up on 34. We're going to read some of his stats. High single, 213, 486 triple, 770 high five, 132 highest league average he's held, six Pro Tour titles, two Easter Classic, Men's Worlds, Invitational, Mixed Worlds. Just off the head pin there, but a great break. Steve, Steve. Look at this guy. This is outstanding. Strike on spare. 56 plus 2 through 4. Baker looking to cash in on the break. Oh, he just gets by. I thought he was on that. Just, yeah, just tailed off left. Absolute hammer from Steve. But Baker, I mean, you're reading those stats. Unbelievable. Without question, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, we get a, really a, a treat here with two legends of the game and John Winchell, Sean Baker. And then legend in his own mind, Josh Daly. Uh, I mean, legend in the making. I think, yeah, I'd say we're going to be there yeah, eventually. I mean, he's one of the best in the game right now. And yeah, then the young, a, young up and cover. When uh, you watch this back Kelsey. later, it's Josh, exciting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. 
But I mean, realistically, you get two first ballot Hall of Famers. I don't know if that's a. It's not like baseball, where, but you, you get my, right. my premise. Right, right, right. Uh, future Hall of Famer potentially in Josh and the way he bowls. Trending, no question. He tries to show you why on the head pin. Leaves two, three, four, seven. Nice piece of wood there. Great piece of wood. Yeah, slide that we got right a good on. angle here with the pin cam right in our faces, and that's that should be covering all four pins. Seven oh, makes John me look at the double up, and wow, wiggled the five, couldn't go. No carry over there, so Steve with another skin. That is our first thirty dollars skin. Josh looks to slide it over. He does, but a seven. Oh, I knew that seven was trouble. Is a little too low on that wood. I mean, it's a fine shot, but just could not carry the seven. John looking to go square on strike. He will. He is 60 in a ball to the four. Josh looked like he had all the no good for Josh. That would be nine bucks there. Steve Kelly, $55. John Winchell sitting at 50 through four boxes. Sean Baker, 48 through four. Steve Kelly, 56 in a ball. Josh Daly, 39. And Winchell's at 60 plus one. Steve looking to double up here. Can we get a double time right on it? Leaves it three and one. Three, four, six, ten. Baker's off to the right, leaves the Cleary left. So it's a four horseman left plus the nine pin. A piece of wood to maybe help carry that nine pin in the back. Obviously the trouble one with the Cleary. Steve looking to make a pretty one, just gets by the object. Add the idea, because you just had to tap that three pin. Just tap it. Tap, tap, tap. Looking to run it. Ooh. Catches that cap, gets that out of the way. He didn't want that wood there, so he's gonna try to make it clean. This guy's looking to grab 10. Steve will go through goal post for an eight. He is 72 through five. Humble 72 half there. That's a heck of a half to start yourself. Your first TV appearance, and then he's got a 72 half. Baker grabs three for an eight as well. We could, we could see an eight win money here. That'd be interesting. Uh, no, it wouldn't, it would carry over. A nine would win oh, money. Oh darn it, nine. We're still learning. Hey, everybody's just still looking for that perfect broadcast. I think we set the threshold to seven for the you guys suck. <laughs> Winch loading up his spare here. In the fourth, on the head pin, a little bit light, gets a good little mix, and he'll leave a try. Oh, so oh, hold on. Oh. oh, goodness gracious, we almost had a strike. How did that one not go? Wow. Daily on the head pin, and tell me if you've seen this one before. Second time leaving that, and then he also left the spread eagle without the extra. Line box still could win. I think he's gonna cash a spare in here. And he will, of course. 79 and a ball through five. John Winchell picked right back up where he left off. Daly loves to cut it. This is what John did the entire 20 games he bowled in our in our pilot filming. Episodes one and two available on YouTube. Josh Daly cleans up for a nine. Not a bad nine out of that. Tough half. half, but I mean, the, this is where the money starts to pick up. So if Josh is going to find a time to come alive, absolutely he wants to do it. So. Quick plug: if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button for us. Helps us build this up bigger and better every time we come here. Baker, 56 through five, looking to get going here. He is just just by. Piece of wood coming up. Maybe touch the head pin. Nope. See you later. Kelly's all over the head pin. Can he get it? Wow. Thought for, thought for sure that was going. 72 through 5. Got a good chance at a spare here. Baker making it look a tough one. Looking to make a tough one. So, and this is what you five. see from Sean every once in a while. He just, just by, and then all of a sudden next game he'll be lights out. Steve's all over it. What a showing from Steve Kelly thus far. 82 and a ball through 6. Baker gets by the headpin again, takes 9. But he's at 65 through 6. So, Josh with it. Uncharacteristic 48 half, but three. So he's on the head pin four out of five times, and the three time, three out of four times he was was a spread eagle or some variation of the spread eagle. Tough breaks. And the the one time he was off, he was punched a half worcester on his fill. So he's he's had a punchy morning so far for the first five boxes. Good news for him is there's still 15 boxes to go. Plenty of time. Going to get it going right here. He's in the pocket. There we go. Got it to up break up. Looking at the four seven. From Josh Daly's stats, high single 192, triple 478, Winchell's first ball here. Bang, in the pocket. Gonna leave the 3-5. Oh, 
high five for Josh of 738 and the highest league average before this year, 124. I think he's over 130 right now in Millis, but still got some time for that to officially qualify. Josh is all over it. I'll let him get hot. 58 and a ball through six. And we are carrying over here, regardless of what John does, although he obviously wants to make it. And he is all over it. 97 and a ball through six. John Winchell doing something special right now. So Baker's got himself an opportunity. He threw a nine box, but that carries over for everybody. So he can go ahead and get himself $65 if he just goes in and, and throws a mark. Strike, obviously, is always what they want, but it's a spare game. Can't one, of those, one of those funny things about uh, skins. Steve's on the head pin again. Tough break this time. Four, six, seven, nine, and ten. Baker right where he has to be. Throws a pretty ball and another tough break. But I mean, I, that I don't I, with that wood, I don't hate it at all. He's looking at the three, five, seven, ten. He can get right outside the three. I like it. Steve tries to play the wood off the wall. Gets it working. I had a great bid. Awesome, awesome shot. Baker looking to make a nice one. Oh, all over it. Shot. What a shot. Outside the three, sent it over. Wood took the 10. Spare for Baker right on time. Steve pins out there for a big 10. Pinning really, really well. 97 through 7. So again, strike. Wins the skin, unless obviously both bowlers here throw a strike, and we'll carry over another one. Winchell, 97 and a ball through 6. There's a hammer here. We're looking at something crazy. It's all over it. Oh, I thought that would have been pushed. back and wiggles the five, but doesn't want to go. Eight fill, 105 through six. Daly's right on the head pin, but goodness gracious, the fourth ten. That, that, they can make this. That wood's not bad. You want to tap that wood on the outside. Ball takes the 10. Wood rolls John back. That wood all over it. Another mark. That is another one, carry two, over. three, four, five, six in a row for John Winchell. 115 <laughs> and a ball. Somebody tell Fuller Winchell hit the six in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, gotta think he's gonna go with the, the fourth and kick it off the ball. Oh, he did play that wood. He wanted to be outside the wood. Yep, he just said it wrong side. You want it to be outside the wood, you get the wood to sweep the four, and the ball takes the 10. Gets by for a nine. 75 through seven for Josh. So he did have a carry over there. So this skin is now $100. Coming up. Big box here. This is where the pressure really starts to build up. Again, it's a pretty, it's a fun, Fun setting for these guys, pretty laid back, but now you got a hundred dollar ball in your hands. Baker almost punched the whistle. He's gonna leave for one, three, four, six, seven. Kelly on the head pin. Stop oh, making for that. Gonna, we're gonna sit this nice. Does, yeah. Oh, it's going away. See ya. Oh, oh hold on. Baker looking to run it on the head pin. Oh, that's Could not six. take a four seven. If that was touching the five, I'd like it a lot better. I'll go a little bit lower. Maybe it was if you could drive the foot on the left back. But did not. I don't think it went low enough. Catch the cat. Great bid. He just couldn't carry the seven. Either. That, that wood did not quite sit as nice as he wanted it to. Baker punches one for a nine. Kelly looking for a pin to set himself up to possibly win the skin. And he is right on it. So 10 in the eighth for 107. Baker sitting at 89. These guys looking for a mark here to try to win the skin at $100. Daily on lane 34. Give the first shot. He's 75 through 7. And a tough start for Josh, but what a time to throw a hammer ball. He just gets by, takes four. That's a bright throw so hard. But if you're a little bit full, you punch happy. Yeah. John looking to load up on the head pin again. Going to leave the check mark. Let's do three, five, six, and ten. Another makeable shot. 121 through seven. D looking to blow it up right there. Oh, Winchell looking to play heartbreak kid again. This is what he does. This is where he shows See up. See if he can check up. 
Guarantee if he does, you'll see a little exchange between him and Josh. Oh, he just, oh! Made the, made the five seven. Josh gets himself a nice $100 skin. But what a time to show up there for Josh Staley. 85 and a ball through eight. Winchel looking to grab 10, put himself in the 30s with two boxes to go. He does. That's the ball he wanted to throw. He knows it. 131 through eight. It's uh, pretty good. That'll pretty play. Good. John's got a 42 pin lead on third place. So build himself a nice little cushion. A lot of time left, but build himself a little bit of a cushion here to, to get himself to the next episode. On top of the $80 he's secured. Steve Kelly's on the head pin a bit full, gonna leave three and one, but I hate it. Steve is, he's at eight of nine on the head pin. Say goodbye again, throwing a great ball. And this one sits much nicer than his last split lead. Gonna run there it where he has to be. Perfect. Nice shot. Pretty one. 117 and a ball through nine. Mm. Steve Kelly. So Baker looking to make a pretty one, but gets through the hole. I don't know if we set up a box of seven, eight, and nine with the thirty-five dollar boxes, which is why that that total jumped up for Josh so quickly. Baker, that, that's the ball. Pretty shot for a ten. Great pins. Ninety-nine through nine. Steve Kelly, 117 and a ball. John Baker, 99. <laughs> Winchell and Daly stepping up here for their ninth frame. Haven't seen this in a while. John is open. Not filling this. I think he's going to change that quick. Yeah. <laughs> he's right back on the head pin. Beautiful pocket shot. Leaves the four, seven, eight. Another makeable spare. Daly's on the head pin. Can he drop them all? He will take nine. Leaves just the two pin. When they, say, when they say one will get you going, that's Josh right now. He had all those splits, got that one feeling good, saw he got himself a $100 skin. John looking to make one, oh, just gets by his object. Josh looking to cash in here. Tried to carry it over, but Steve gets himself another skin. Steve now, $90. So Baker's the only one not on the board. Winchell's at 80, Daly at 100, Steve Kelly at 90. Winchell grabs 10, Josh gets by. Trademark daily stomp there. <laughs> one box left. Wow. So with one box to go in game one. Sean Baker, 99. Steve Kelly, 117 plus one. Josh Daly, 103. And John Winchell, 141. A commanding lead through nine boxes. But that's why we bowl two games. You never know who's going who's gonna to show up or, or get some tough breaks in the next game. Kelly gets by, but decent break to take six on his spare for a 123 through nine. Baker looking to make a fun one. Here it gets on the oh, hole. Just a little too much on the gap. Want to be a little more right. Kelly looking to get on the head pin. He doesn't. Oh wow, what a bid. Just could not carry the four. What an offer. Baker takes nine. Big 10 from Steve there. Steve hitting phenomenally, 133 first game. Baker takes nine for a 108. I called Steve the underdog. I figure, first time on what we call it TV, I figure bowling against these greats, the nerves are gonna be high if they were. We were lucky you enough. You wouldn't he, know he, it. Him and Paul did our match last night at, down at Central. And I had a conversation with him. I said, you know what? You're going in there as the underdog, so all the pressure's on these well-known bowlers. Right. You, you flip that pressure. No, you don't know what anybody's going to expect out of you, so go there, throw your game, and he sure did. Daily in the pocket. What a ball. Leaves just a seven. And again, a carryover in this box. Carries over to string two. That's right. It's only in the last box. Only tiebreak in the last box of the second game. So right now it's a spare. We'll take it. And this is a $100 box. So I don't feel like we, uh, we hyped that up enough. Yeah, yeah. On that in the second game. Hundred dollars up for grabs here with this box. Daly's on it. All right, so, so now Winchell's got to run. Run the four horsemen and carry over, or Josh gets himself another hundred dollar box. Daly's one thirteen and a ball. Can Winchell run the ladder? Oh man. Oh, thought that might come back, but he's so gonna Josh, get by. Josh runs himself two skins for a total of two hundred dollars. That's how you show up at the right time. And you said it. You Opportunistic. Said, you said well, there's a time for him to get hot. It's right now, and he sure did. Josh, just to fill this for totals. 
We got a perfect game for John Winch of 151. There's no perfect game bonus in this show, but we'll still give him the shout out. It's daily, good place to leave it. Right through the heart, spread eagle. Takes a 117. So a big finish there, big back half for Josh of 769. Nice. Um, cut into to Steve Kelly's lead on him. So he's only 16 back. Obviously, Winchell is really starting to creep ahead there. All right, welcome back to game number two here. Sean Baker getting it started on lane 34. Baker finds a head pin, leaves Steve 4 6. Okay. With some wood to play with, though. Steve Kelly back on the head pin, leaves Steve 3 7. I don't hate Baker's though with that, especially the wood behind the uh, six pin. Helps send that over. Yeah, it's, it's tough regardless, but it helps to have that guide to cut it over. Let's see if he can do it. It's a full. shot here kids outside it oh man just behind it great offer there both these guys looking to check 10 baker catches the end of the wood so baker back uh, 25 on steve kelly coming into this game and he's back nine on josh daly so he's got a he's got a little bit of a mountain to climb uh, josh back eight of steve kelly after the first game and winchell with a nice commanding lead over 26 pins over Steve for that first spot in the next episode. Baker's not going to blink. I mean, we know he can he can put up numbers in bunches here. So he, he's been in every scenario you can imagine. So somebody who's you know, not too phased by this deficit, it, it's definitely him. So. You witnessed it firsthand at Worlds last year in that final game when uh, your team was kind of putting putting the hurt on his team. He was off to the left one. I think he threw a 160 game to try and get them in contention, yep. 160, 170, and tried to pull them back. And it got close for a minute until you guys answered. But he, he can, when the pressure's its toughest, that's when Baker shows up. Winchell gets by, leaves the Cleary left. Both these guys are tough shots, but make it. He looking to get on the headpin, just gets by. These guys are going to have to clean up. And Baker at the 10, with the 10 box, could get it done. Josh doesn't have an easy 10 by any means. Winchell gets by. See what Daly can do. Or can he play heartbreak kid of his own? Going to drive the head pin back. But he does. Kicks the wood off the wall, but no go. So Winchell's got to run this, or Sean Baker is going to get himself. $25 again. His first, first one. First $25. Heartbreak kid showing up. Can he run it? Outside. Gives it an offer. He's gonna send that wood back. Oh my goodness! Are we gonna take the seven? No, the wood's coming back this way. So Baker, a ten box, pinning, pinned well, and he's on the board. Twenty-five dollars. Don't let him get hot. And sometimes, sometimes that opens up the floodgates. You get your first one. That's all you need is a break. All That's you need is a break sometimes yep. in this game. And you don't want to run. So let's see how he responds here. Steve Kelly looking to stay on the head pin. Does not, but. Breaks it up a bit. One, three, four, seven, ten. Baker's on the head pin and through the heart. And Steve, we haven't we haven't commented on it yet, but Steve is that um, off-handed slide bowler. There's not too many of them. No. But there's some there's some very successful ones. Uh, Ryan Cox up in Canada. Yep. He's, he's an off-hand slide. Uh, Ryan Hogan. He's an off-hand slide. Uh, Jason Doucette. Is that off handed side? Guns, yep. yep. Ashley Breton as well? Yep, Ashley Breton. Just gets by. He will take eight. <coughs> Baker looking to clean up after going through the hole on his object, but takes only two for a six box. All right, so a little tough box there, but. I'm going to say it this time and be right. An eight box could win the skin. Yeah, there, now, we're, now we're talking. I'm, I'm learning. Again, I don't like the odds of that with these two guys in the lanes, but. Saying there's a chance. Which are looking to get going. First open box of the day. I should not open, but a non first, non first non ten, yeah. First time he left a pin up. And he's right on the head pin. Oh. oh, can he take out the seven? He does. That shot got a lot better real quick. Daily half Worcester. On the right. So an eight no longer will win this game. That is that is confirmed. <coughs> Winchell looking to make one, get himself on the board here in game number two. He is all over. Pretty shot, John Winchell, 19 and a ball through nine. Daly looking to make the Worcester. Wow. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a bid did not carry the 10. Josh trying to play Heartbreaker there with that, that bid. And just Can't say he didn't try. The 10 did not want to go. He doesn't throw it hard enough to get that to Dare. Yeah, you got to get up in the 60s. Oh, cancels that. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that ball. That ball had other, uh, other plans. But just snuck by. So Josh will take a 9. Puts him at 18. I want to do a Winchell 19 in a ball. Two. I want to do a quick shout out to our host here, Lita Lanes in Kegler's Den. Uh, great hospitality as always here. Come down, check it out. They've done a lot of renovations. Looks beautiful in here now. Baker's on the head pin. Oh, breaks up the split. Kelly's off to the right, but really breaks it up. One, two, seven for Kelly. See, this is the time Steve is not as on the head pin as he was the first game. You want to gain if you're Sean or Josh. Baker's all over it. Spare six, uh, excuse me, 26 to the three. Plus a ball. Kelly's looking to run it down, and he does. Nice shot there for Steve Kelly. And you were just getting to it about the, the renovations that Lita has done. I mean, it looks awesome in here. Nice to see them modernize a little bit, but really more importantly, it's nice to see a house that's investing. Kind of where the stage we're at in this game where we're losing houses. To see somebody actually go ahead and put money in and, and renovate and upgrade is a really promising thing. Absolutely, and, and you don't often see houses that have two separate houses in the same parking lot for their, their glow bowling and their parties yep. across the way, and then your house and open bowling. Another uh, half Worcester for Josh there, unfortunately. And Baker and Josh are both about 25 behind Steve. So it's 26 for Baker, 25 for Josh. Plenty of room. John Wings are all over the head. Pin drops, nine leaves just a king. So that nine pin puts him at 28 through two. Again, we are carrying over regardless here. Josh goes through the hole, dollar, dollar, dollar. Impressive how high he got his leg there. He's an athlete. He's been doing the TV 12 method. Try to make sure his bowling career stays up. Pliable. Yeah, no, you got him. Spare there for John. Which all over it. Starting his streak again here, looks. Josh on the head pin and takes a tough four. No, you got to stay pliable. There's one thing that you can't deny is that Candleton Bowlers are athletes, and Josh Daly is making sure that he's staying as athletic as possible for as long as possible. I mean, you have to respect that. Look at Phil Clough. Phil Clough, uh, I was talking to, to John Blaze about Phil Clough. I mean, if he could, he's still, he's. How old, how long he's been bowling? He's still hiking, he still gets lower than anybody I know. Steve's off to the right, leaves the one. Phil Clough is the, the picture athlete of Candleton Bowling. Baker's off to the right. Is that wood gonna sit for him? Get out of the, I, I think I like it out of the way, yeah. Yeah, one, two, two seven, seven nine. Nice, this guy's tough shot. Steve just gets by. Baker, you want to get a little bit outside the head pin, I would think. Oh, no, it kicks it off the wall. What a shot. You don't really get that, that love off the wall all the time. That's, They'll take it. That's what I was nervous. That's why I would have yeah. gone outside. I mean, not to say where he was or was not aiming, but you, you take that love off the wall every single time. So Kelly takes in. He's at 41. So Baker's picked up a pin on him through four boxes and does have a fill. Baker down 24. So if he can go on a little run, he's going to start putting that pressure on Steve. And this is a $55 box. We're into the $30 boxes now for five, six, and six, uh, for four, five, and six. Winchell right in the pocket. Just left a two pin, but now just going to leave the four piece of wood that looks like it's getting out of the way, flatten it out. So he's got a straight shot at it. Daly's on the head pin, and oh my, hold on. It looked really it ugly. Now it's only a little bit ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, wow. Oh, he almost said. Just like the, the one, two, one, two, nine, maybe, and then it broke up a little bit. Winchell's all over it, takes a spare in the fourth, three in a row. Forces another carry over there to tie Sean Baker's spare. Day looking to make a pretty one. Sent that piece of wood over, but just got behind, so he's looking at the 6 10. Big 10 there. We are now up to a $85 box here. $85 box. Uh, Sean and John both spared there in the fourth. This is where that skin thing is kind of funny is that Daly's going to be probably over 30 pins down once we get through this, this set of boxes here. And he's going to be up $100. Right. At minimum. And right. he, could, he could go win this skin with a 10 box and it's going to be up $180. Absolutely. And, and, be, and be way down in pinfall. So it's, it's just an interesting format. Six fill for Baker there. One three seven ten with a helpful piece of wood. 
Oh, can I make oh. a free one? Oh, he sent it oh, over. Oh, the two blocked. pieces of wood coll collided? Collided? Collided. Collided. There was a collision. There was a collision. Kelly's on it. Nice shot. 51 on a ball through five. Baker checks 10. So Steve Kelly leading the way here, putting the pressure on Josh and John. One of these guys needs a spare to carry over, or they can throw a hammer and... Baker got it down to 18. That's a timely spare for Steve to keep his lead. Uh, fit that back up in the 25 area if he can get a nice fill. So this fifth box, game one, is where Josh got it going. And got, got himself to cut into that lead, right. And so this is where he can do it again and, and capitalize. But John the Heartbreak Kid is also on three in a row, 57 plus a ball through four, and uh, wants to continue to add to that. So let's see who's going to take advantage. So left for you. You can see the frustration mounting on his face right show. now. No question. Winchell looking to load up. Gets by, only takes three. Oh boy. As soon as he threw the ball, you heard him say, oh no. As a bowler, you know when that's just going way off. Daly looking to make the Worcester. Oh goodness. Wow, leaves the four, five, seven, and ten. Looked like a much better bid than yeah. that. The wood's gonna roll off, so he's got he's just gonna play the two pins and hope to get an eight box out of this. Winchell looking to blow it up here. Take the $85 away from Steve Kelly, but he will not. So Steve going to win the box. He's going to win the skin. $85 added to his total. Cuts into that big lead uh, financially that we were just talking about for daily. Now with $175. Winchell cleans up. Nice 10 there for 75. 15 boxes in for Winchell, and only one that was not 10 or better. Just been outstanding. Now his lead is well up, almost 40 now on Steve. Forget about the, the two guys who were just trying to stay in the show. Yep. He's nice a little cushion here. We've seen him bowl three and a half games now. I'm sorry, five, four, five and a half games now. He's been lights out every single time. Kelly just gets by one, two, seven. I think I have my prediction for who's going to win the Easter Classic this year. <laughs> Baker just gets by, leaves the one, two, ten. I think he's going to ask to stay on 33 and 34, though, for the duration of the. Uh, yeah, I would. Classic. Why not? Or somebody Kelly going to no. run it. Oh, just a bit full. That's a heck of an offer. Leaves it two and seven. Baker looking to make a pretty one, but just gets by. Both bowlers will be open. Oh, wow. He goes through the whole lot. He's probably giving him 100 more throws. I don't know if he can do that again. Baker takes two for a nine to lead the way here in box six. Nine could get it done. One of these guys looking for a 10 or better. Sean, 24 pins down now from Steve. Completed boxes with four to go. So he's got to make a move. And then maybe they say punches and bunches. Is that what he's going to be looking for? Sure. Yeah. Haven't heard that one before. Uh, put on a, a t-shirt. If he does it. Actually, his wife makes t-shirts. So yep. can Perfect. Look at that. We know a guy. Uh, just gets by. Takes the two for the one, seven, nine, ten. Daily hammer time. Is it going to go? See you later. Hammer time. Josh Daly gets himself another $30. With 50 the plus two through six. With the caliber of bowlers we had, I think that's only our, is that only our second strike we've seen so far? There haven't been many. No, Steve, Steve Kelly threw one, I was saying, the first one. Maybe three. Oh, it's almost like we have a sheet here that we can look, look at that. So <laughs> yeah, you're Winchell, has, Winchell has one. So three strikes. Daily, that's his first one. Steve has one. Yep. Ten box there for John. So is that five? Is that how numbers work? Three. One. Did one for Steve, one for Josh, one for John. That's why I'm a phys ed teacher, folks. Ooh. Nice. One, two, and then Josh makes three. That's only three strikes here. Daily, 32 pins now. Again, still, still in contention here. And on that, on that strike, he's got a chance, especially if he can double up. Baker looking to get going here. Cut of that deficit. Can he throw a strike of his own? He said, I want to get, get in on this party. Drop nine. Kelly's on the head pin. A couple nice bids here. Going to leave the inverse Worcester. We've all made this shot a thousand times. Usually with the first ball. Yeah, usually it's, it's a lot easier on the first ball. Oh. Baker gets by. Overthrew it there. He can't try to make this one. He's got to try to throw the ball down the middle. <laughs> so you don't just miss. It only happens by accident. A happy accident. Can he do it? Oh, right on his object. Just outside. Baker just gives that one a little kiss for a 10 bucks. Kelly 
looking to check 10. He does. Both our bowlers with 10s. It's going to take a mark to win the skin here. And we're going to have the rare scenario right now. I mean, we still got plenty of space here. But John Winchell is, is handily ahead. Um, 22 over Steve Kelly, so 46 over the next bowler. Um, but he's only got $105 in skins so far. Funny game. It's it's, you know what? It's consistency. That's what it is. If you watched last episode, uh, Matt Susie threw a double and got nothing to show for it. It's just how this skin show works. Speaking of doubles, Daily looking to do it. No daily double today. On the heavy, can he break it up? Get off. Will not. Peanut gallery behind us, chirping Josh a little bit. Speaking of Matt Susie. Winchell just gets by, leaves the one three into ten. Let's see if Daly can make a gorgeous cut shot here. He's got no help. Can he do it on spare on his object? He'll take a seven now. So fifty-seven on the fill. John trying sorry, to run seven this. on the fill for fifty-seven. John trying to run this to get himself another skin. Thirty-five dollar box here. John, look at oh wow, what a shot outside carries the ten. Pretty one for John Winchell, 90 and a ball. Yeah, 57 on double threes. <laughs> Can find a way to do that. Winchell, I'm sorry, Daly plucks just one for an eight box, puts him at 65. So his deficit is 27 now. Three boxes to go. Baker's down 24 from Steve Kelly and 56 from John Winchell. We should so we see Winchell in the next episode, looks like right now. And Daly down 27 from Steve Kelly, and that would have been 59 from Winchell. Steve's off to the left. He's a four horseman right, plus the seven. Piece of wood. Maybe going to snuggle with the seven pin. Baker's off to the right. He gets a decent break, one, two, nine. Kelly looking to run down the line. Right on oh, it, what, what a, a shot. shot there. Baker looking to match it. Oh, wow. Punch it straight back. Yeah, a little, little full on that on his object there. Unless we see a strike here from Daly, looks like Steve's gonna, gonna power through. Still at 24, but he's got the fill. So you get to call that the way he's filled today. Call has got a 30 pin lead right now. Comfortable. Yep, with two boxes to go. Yeah, so one of these guys is gonna have to do something crazy. Which again is not out of the realm of possibility, but it's gonna take a lot. Winchell's on the head pin, crossing over, gonna leave the three and the six. Wood getting out of the way. Daly's on the head pin. Leaves the four seven. Wood gets out of the way for him. Both of these bowlers with clear shots at a two pinner. Trying to force a carry over here into the ninth box. One of these guys has to make it, or Steve Kelly's gonna get himself some more money. John, oh, just not by. Can Daly go and make it? As he gets by, takes just a seven pin. So Steve Kelly. Again, another skin, 86 and a ball, $210. Got a chance to uh, go catch Daly in his last two boxes. John skates by again. Josh grabs the, nine, the single pin for a 10 box. That was the ball too, wherever it needed to be. That's the, that's the ball it takes, that two pin of the last time. He knew it. So as long as Steve, Steve fills this well, he's gonna, gonna come pretty close to locking himself in. Almost mathematical. And then still 60 pins on the board, and these bowlers can go uh, and throw some strikes in a hurry. But if Steve gets himself another another good fill and another mark, he's, he's really cruising here. Baker off to the right. Oh, breaks it up here. One, two, and eight. Kelly's off to the right. Oh, is that three pin going to fall? It's not, not going to fall. Stands up and fights, takes a three fill. Puts him at 89. Baker looking to make one here. Oh, oh that wood in the back of it. Nods his, do him any favors. Nods his head because that's kind of been his luck today. When, even when he looks like he's on, the, the extra pins aren't carrying for him. Steve blow it up. It just gets by. Both these guys going to look to check. Steve's might not be done. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're not Steve, done here. Steve's still Baker's, showing. Baker's done his box, but uh, Kelly's second ball is not done working. What? Will we for four in the eight? Grabs one for a nine. Ten or better here to win the skin now. So Josh needs to gain 40 pins in two boxes, or, or 
he's got two boxes to Steve's one, but still has to gain 40 pins. So 10 boxes puts it at 50, means Josh needs nothing but strikes to finish out. See what he can do. And then Steve would just need a four box to officially eliminate Baker from moving on to the next episode. So Steve Kelly coming in here as the underdog and, and putting the work in. Daly's on the head pin. Oh, breaks it up. Almost left the uh, six pin over there, but now looking at the two, four, seven. Decent shot of the spare here to win the spin. Unless John throw a hammer here. And threw the ball for it, but a bit full. Leaves a three, four, six. And that wood just rolled by everything. Daly looking to run the line here. Oh, logic. Oh, got by, kicked it off the wall. It's gonna go. What a what, shot. What, Only what, way it goes. Pretty one for Josh Daly in the night. What a read by Josh. Ooh, oh, John looked to make a nice cut shot. Try to play heartbreak kid. So Josh gets himself another $35 there in the ninth box. Put him at 265 on the day. 265 and 30 pins behind the second place bowler, Steve Kelly. So what does Steve need? Uh, does a 10, does a 10 do that? How does I, the math work here? I, Steve needs a, a four box, and he is locked into the next episode. Oh, I was a little off. Just a bit. I like it, boss. But now if you're, if you're, One more box. Baker, Baker taking his shoes off. Baker thought he was he was done. One Some, more box. Somebody here. tell him he can still win a hundred or more dollars here. Yeah, you he got still. We still got a hundred hundred dollar box here to, to round out the ten. <laughs> so now now in in pure Sean Baker format, he's going to be have his shoes on, run up here, throw a hammer, yeah, and, and just yeah. it's going to be a no doubter, and he's going to get himself hundred dollars. And again, if the bowlers tie here, only the bowlers who tie will carry over to a one box roll off. Steve Kelly looking for a hundred dollar ball. Oh, it just gets by leaves the four. Baker. Looking to clean up some money, although he will not be in the next show. And he's right on it. He busts it up. Oh. <laughs> I think somebody called that. I, I might have I'm just said saying about somebody there. might have called that. I don't know. Baker thought he was done. Shoes were coming off. Said, oh, one but more? One it's more? how it goes. It's like 100 bucks? Yep. Goodness gracious. Steve just looking to pin. He already has locked himself in the next episode to, to take on Tim Douglas and Ryan Southall. So has John Winchell. I'm going to take my own chance at this here. John Winchell has not played Heartbreak Kid yet. So this feels like this feels like when feels like the, the, the 90s when when Shawn Michaels was in the corner of the ring, like warming up his leg, and getting a, ready. The, uh, the unsuspecting opponent is like all dazed and confused, going to turn around and, and just catch catch a heel to the face. This is Winchell right now. This is the time, and there is quite literally no better time than right now to get it done. Hundred dollars up for grabs. Yeah, either one of these guys does not throw a strike. It is Sean Baker. So congrats to John Winchell and Steve Kelly for moving on. It's official now, um, but they're looking to. Can Winchell do it? He's in the pocket. Oh, Still it. moving. Oh man. Oh, oh we took everything it. but the seven. Josh, trying to upset Baker here. Can Daly do it? It's working. Oh, and oh. it goes. Oh. Every time for Daly. He plays spoiler. We'll need a tiebreaker. Heartbreak kid of his own. He says, I'm not done. Both these guys, again, will not move on to the next show, but they want that money. Maybe we miscalc. Maybe we miscalculated. Daly's only seven. Oh, because he was on the fill. We forgot about the fill he was on. You. Oh. That's your fault. <laughs> So Daly throws another hammer here. He has he a chance to Steve. get in the next show. Wow, we thought we were done. We thought we were done. All right, so Josh is going to finish filling before they do their, their one box oh, he's roll he's got to get his. Yep. He's got to finish filling. He needs to well, throw no, a double. Here he needs a double, and then they yeah, then they one box roll. Yeah, okay, yeah. so this is, this this is, is this for is the for total. The, this is total the total. Pinfall. Get in the next match. Can Daly throw another hammer? He's, oh, just gets by. Okay, now it's official. Okay. My bad on that one. Never, now it's official. Never Steve Kelly's moved on to the next episode. Never a doubt. Josh checks the scoreboard, sees he is mathematically eliminated, but we'll still look to get the points. Makes a pretty shot for a 10 fill. He needs just one seven pins. Yep, yep, yep. Same lane or different lane? Let's they both. No, not in the last box. So just one of you on each lane, doesn't matter. You guys decide. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, so it's a one-box roll-off. They'll keep going, switching sides if they continue to tie. So we have only again. Phil doesn't matter. Baker punches the Worcester. 
Josh, Josh throws a strike. It's over. And in the pocket, threw the ball for it and leaves the Inverted I mean, this is, triangle. Yeah, this is so, when, so Baker just wants to Baker's pin. Not done. He's got a pin. <laughs> Baker blow it up, gets inside it. Oh my! What a bid. Just a 10, but now he, he gave himself a chance to carry over. Josh needs two of these. Uh, Clocks okay. Leaving, uh, two pinners. Baker with a great second ball to give himself some life here. Put the pressure on Josh with a 10. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my. The, the, the turns in this box are <laughs> unbelievable. Good daily make it. Oh, he gets oh. one more carried over. Oh my god, the, the crowd. Switch oh my god, the back and forth of that. You know, this is Shades oh of Episode goodness. 1 with Lou and Aaron doing this back and forth. I think they went four extra boxes before they decided a winner. That whole frame was just wild. Baker throws the Worcester like, ah, oh, he's done. Daily leaves the inverted triangle like, oh, maybe not. Baker almost blows up the Worcester. We're just back and forth, and now Daly's just going to throw a hammer. Good night. Oh, come on. Get off. Oh, and the five doesn't want to go. <laughs> oh, and my gosh. He that's what Baker it. can do here. Look at that piece of wood was going to come over, too, oh, and they, they clanked. Yeah, that is right in front. Baker looking to do it himself. He leaves the check mark. It's not a given. Daly has to be on the cap uh, or around we, it. Who's do we like better here? A Daly's for sure. <laughs> He's going to get around One that spot wood. to hit. Yep. Got a chance. He's Spare open. here. Hunter Alex. Can he make it? Oh and just leaves the five. <laughs> this is awesome. This is what we. This is what we're here for. This is uh, spontaneous. Yeah, absolutely. Back. And gets on it, but oh, the ball, ball gonna take it. Oh, oh he goes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Puts the pressure on Baker. A big pin there. Baker facing. Oh, all over it. We're going again. <laughs> he gives Daly a stare. All right, roll off box number three. Yeah, both these guys. This is really is shades of episode one, where these guys are both done. They're not making it, but they said, we're not done yet. Like we're gonna put on a show. We're gonna battle for a hundred bucks. This is Baker's turn to try and throw a hammer here. Oh, the head pin leaves and just leaves the five. Son of the five on lane thirty-four. They glued it down. But he's got a much nicer piece of wood. Daly just gets by, leaves the. Oh, he thought a hammer was coming. Oh, yeah, Baker thought he was. Josh was going lights out there. Four horsemen plus the ten. Tough shot for Daly if Baker makes this. Cash it in. He's no, all Baker's over got it. the spare. Big shot here for Josh. Wipes the sweat off the forehead. <laughs> See if Daly can run the line. Deep breath there from Daly. Lining it up. This would be a heartbreak kid moment. Oh, got on the head oh, pin, but couldn't. A little too full. What a performance there from these bowlers. Three extra roll-off boxes. John Baker gets himself an extra $100 there. What a performance from all bowlers. So that is going to wrap up the bowling for episode three. We're going to uh, catch up with our bowlers after this quick timeout. All right, we are back. So I have Josh Daly and Sean Baker here with me. Uh, so first, Josh, two hundred sixty-five dollars for you. Thank you, so sir. So you're all over the head pin, especially in that first game, but a lot of tough breaks. So what was kind of the mindset there as you were battling those uh, punch outs? I was trying to get myself going, trying to keep it in. Uh, Steve and John bowled really good. So did Sean. So kept it fun, but hit, missing the head pin a lot, hitting the two pin, three pin in the face, and then some punches couldn't get the momentum going until like the last three boxes of the deep match. Yeah, I felt like every time you got on the head pin, it was a it was a punch out, and then we couldn't break up the splits, and it was tough. But hey, awesome job! Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate having you, Sean. One hundred twenty-five dollars for you. So you're taking your shoes off, getting ready to get out of here, and it's like, hold on a second, we got one more one more box. We got a hundred dollars on the line, yeah. and then you guys have like the most thrilling finish we've probably had in three episodes. So what was that uh that battle like there at the end? Um, well, it was it was fun, obviously, you know. But I just I just I was off on the count. Whatever. I thought I made a mistake and went on the wrong lane. I'm like, oh, we'll just go this way and blah, blah, blah. And obviously I was incorrect on that. But, uh, yeah, you know, it was this good tournament. I, you guys are doing a great job. I think it's awesome and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you again. All right, so now we're going to bring up John Winchell, Steve Kelly. All 
All right, congrats, guys. Uh, so both these bowlers are going to come on to our, our next show. We just can't get rid of you. Um, I mean, you've just been the, a the model, of, we'll try. We'll a model of consistency, though. So not like a, a big money day, $140 here in that episode, yeah. but, I mean, just stellar in your score. So what, what was kind of going through your head as you're back for your third episode? Uh, kind of the same thing with Josh in the, on the last show, like getting all those marks, and they just kept carrying over. So, I mean, the score was great. It allowed me to advance to the next show. But, uh, yeah, the money all went to the – Josh and Steve, I think, right? Got the majority of it? Pretty much. Yeah. So timing is everything on those marks, but I'll take the score to go to the next show. Absolutely. Look Fine. forward to seeing you. Thanks. And Steve, yes, newcomer to the show, $210 for you. So I don't want to say who, but somebody might have referred to you as an underdog, three of the greats in the game right now. So what was kind of your mindset coming in against these three just prolific bowlers? I thought it was just kind of get in, don't let it get in your head, just kind of be a Zen master and just be the pilot of the spare plane as Candlepin Skins. It's about the marks, and I'm not the best of strikes, but um, statistically I've learned recently I can get a lot of spares, so just go for the spares and go for the skins. That's it. Spare game. Yes, he did a great job. Look forward to seeing you next Thank episode. You. That's going to wrap it up for episode number three. We'll see you next time here on Candlepin Skins.